So welcome also from uh, my side. Uh, my name is Laura Bush. I'm from the University of Stuttgart. And well, this um, web session uh, gives you a great opportunity to get to know several German universities. And uh, within the next 15 minutes, you will learn more about the University of Stuttgart and our English conducted master program, Electrical Engineering. You will get information on the support we offer for international students and uh, you ha will have the opportunity to gain some insights from a current electrical engineering uh, student at our faculty. Yeah, uh, once again, my name is Laura Bush. I'm uh, one of the two coordinators at the International Service Point uh, at the Faculty 5, uh, the Faculty for uh, Computer Science, Electrical Engineering and information technology where the program electrical engineering is offered. Um, actually, uh, I well, I coordinate this uh, information point together with my colleague Meta Geisbüsch. She wanted to be here, but unfortunately due to illness, uh, she couldn't make it. But I've got really great support here uh, from our student testimonial Gayatri Narayana. She's in her fourth semester in the master program electrical engineering and will be happy to share her insights with you. So the first big question, and it's a, a, a really important question, uh, of course, as we have seen, there are so many uh, German universities uh, offering a master program in electrical engineering. So why should you come to the German Southwest? There's an answer, and there are many reasons why you should come here. You can find high quality of academia and research uh, in the region. Uh, the Stuttgart region is very strong, economically speaking, with numerous uh, global players such as Daimler, Bosch, uh, Mahle, Vector, but also many small and medium-sized enterprises, so-called hidden champions. And this allows, uh, yeah, a close link to industry while studying and doing research. For example, in a research uh, collaboration projects together with industry, for example, the ARENA 2036, um, that is actually located at uh, our campus. Yeah, additionally, you can find a really international atmosphere here uh, in Stuttgart. We've got 11% uh, of the population with international background and Additionally, also like, uh, for example, in Rendsburg, we are not, uh, we don't have uh, UNESCO uh, uh, heritage, but uh, we do have uh, many uh, cultural offers. We've got the Black Forest close by and there are many outdoor and leisure activities uh, you can do here in the region and the city. So why the University of Stuttgart? We are um, a technically, um, oriented globally connected university. We are one of the nine uh, technical universities in Germany, a uh, member of the so-called TU9 Alliance with a, high, a highly dis interdisciplinary focus. Here you've got only just some small facts on the university. The presentation contains a lot of uh, detailed information uh, so that you can read everything afterwards as well. So our university has got uh, around uh, 21,000 students enrolled at uh, 10 faculties. Uh, we have um, yeah, many cooperation with a large number of external research institutions and industry partners. We have got two clusters of excellence, collaborative research center, etc. And yeah, we, we are very proud uh, about our rankings and uh, awards only to, to mention the top uh, 200 universities worldwide in the Times Higher Education Reputation ranking. So, and yeah, I had mentioned already the international profile before. We have uh, about uh, 5,300 international students from uh, more than 100 countries uh, enrolled at our university. Uh, we have more than 500 partner universities throughout the world. And yeah, you can find a very international um, study uh, and research uh, atmosphere here at the University of Stuttgart. Yeah. 
But nevertheless, it's not all about studying. Of course, uh, you can do a lot of leisure activities as well at the university. You can do sports. There are offerings also uh, to uh, do music, uh, to have uh, concerts as well. Uh, we do, we are yeah, very proud of our um, campus beach that is organized by the student council where there are parties during the semester, etc. So there's a lot to do uh, besides the studies of course. Now let's uh, dive a bit more into detail into the English conducted master program electrical engineering at our university. Here actually you can see maybe it's a bit tiny small here on the on the slide. Uh, we are we uh, have reached the uh, Richard Sochel ranking as well and other new rankings quite new updated. Uh, you can find also the information in LinkedIn. Good, but now about uh, the English conducted master's program I had mentioned before. It's a two years uh, program totally conducted in English. It covers the traditional foundations of electrical engineering and information technology. And we have around 60 students per semester. So you can start uh, every summer and every winter semester uh, with the studies. It has got an open admission. I will talk about the admission requirements a bit later. There are um, several areas of specializations you can choose from. You have to choose, you have to pick one uh, specialization. Um, yeah, you can apply, apply twice a year. Um, we have two application deadlines. Uh, the first is uh, January 15. If you want to start your studies in the winter semester, so um, you apply always nine months in advance. And uh, yeah, the second uh, appli um, yeah, the application deadline is July 15, if you want to start um, the su um, summer semester the following year. And you can apply um, online totally. Yeah. Uh, on the slide, you can find also the links to uh, the electrical engineering website, to the image movie, to the brochure, and also you can, will get all the contact uh, information if you will have uh, questions afterwards. So, yeah, the admission requirements and uh, application procedure, just to make it brief, um, yeah, you have to prove a subject uh, specific uh, eligibility, so a degree. Um, a bachelor degree uh, of minimum six uh, semesters or equi equivalent degree in electrical engineering and information uh, technology or a study program with related content and eligible examination results. So please uh, check out uh, the admissions regulation because this is legally binding, of course. There's no fixed uh, minimum CGPA, however, the higher, the better, of course. And uh, the admission committee verifies at the end the qualification of the applicants. Because it was uh, mentioned before or, um, already, the, um, yeah, the labor uh, working experience, for example, this is, of course, a really good add-on you should mention in your presentation. Yeah, uh, in, your present, uh, in your application. And is, as it is an English conducted master program, uh, you will have to prove uh, English proficiency, uh, which it has at least uh, several C1. You can uh, or hand in recognized certificates, but also if you have studied, for example, six semesters, um, your bachelor degree in uh, English, then uh, this would count as well. Yeah, and have, as you had maybe uh, recognized before, um, we have the application period ongoing already for the next summer semester. Uh, admission office uh, informed me that actually the online portal uh, opened today, so you can already hand in your application. Well, another point I would like to highlight, I know, I mean, uh, coming uh, to Germany to study as an international student, of course, you, you will gain already uh, international experience, but nevertheless, there's also the opportunity to do an exchange semester at the Department of Electrical Engineering. We have um, more than, well, we have uh, 31 partner universities in nine countries. There's also the possibility of uh, doing a double master's program with Vietnam, quite a new program 
So there's, uh, there are many options uh, to gain even more international experience for you. Good. Well, what kind of uh, support do we offer for our international students? First of all, we have many international students at, uh, at our university and especially at uh, the faculty where the program uh, electrical engineering is offered. We have one third of our enrolled students are international, so we are really um, yeah, we are really motivated and we want to give you the best support possible. So um, at the faculty uh, five, you can get personal counseling and support during the whole um, yeah, before, during and after your uh, studies. So uh, even if you have questions before uh, um, application, you can always uh, get in contact with us at the international service point of the faculty and you will get all your questions answered. Uh, we offer also German language courses for our enrolled international students for free. We know the uh, master program is offered completely in English, but nevertheless, and as it uh, was mentioned before uh, by uh, the colleague from the OTH, uh, OTH uh, in Regensburg, uh, of course, German language is necessary and uh, very useful if you want uh, to, to have a good life here, and especially uh, with regards to the, um, to the job perspectives after your studies, for example. So uh, we offer guaranteed spots for study-related German language courses for free. Additionally, we organize many social activities uh, for our international students, but also to help them to get in contact with other fellow students, German students at uh, the international days, for example, semester openings. We offer career planning workshops to support also uh, with this, yeah, uh, in regard uh, related to this topic. Uh, there are body mentoring programs and uh, many more uh, many other activities for international students. But of course, this was only yeah, offered by the faculty side. Of course, you will get uh, many more, uh, a lot of more support uh, on the university level by uh, the colleagues uh, of uh, the international office. Th uh, the international office, of course, is the central point of contact for all international students uh, of the university. And you can find uh, service support, you can find information uh, before the arrival, after arrival, body program, pre-departure sessions, so every kind of support you need, you can find there. And uh, last but not least, I would like also to mention uh, the Electrical Engineering Student Council, because of course, you can also get uh, support from your fellow students. Uh, the Student Association of Electrical Engineering uh, offers support also to international students uh, by providing um, a former exams for exam preparation, organizing uh, first semester introduction parties, day trips to companies, etc. So it's actually a quite good way to get involved and uh, get in contact also with German students and fellow students. Good, so this was quite brief and a lot of information in a short time. So I just wanted to quickly sum it up why the University of Stuttgart. Well, high quality and research in teaching. We've got a strong international focus. You can get personal support from us from the first moment uh, when you're planning uh, to come uh, to, uh, for your studies here in Stuttgart, not only from us, from the colleagues from the international office, uh, from the fellow students, but also from the Dean of Studies, from our colleagues, uh, the study program manager, etc. So we offer German language courses for free and you've got great job perspectives here in the region. So, well, now the end of, uh, let's say, the uh, official presentation part and uh, to make it now to a smooth um, change uh, to get you some insights uh, from a student point uh, of view, I would like to invite uh, Gayatri on the virtual floor. Um, she is now in her first semester of electrical engineering. And yeah, Gayatri, please, the floor is yours. Hi, hi everyone. I'm Gayatri and I'm from India. 
So currently I am in my fourth semester. So that means I am writing my master thesis in this semester and preparing for my master thesis. And uh, I am in uh, electrical master of science, in electrical engineering with my major as math systems. So uh, the major and the electives are quite uh, similar for all the majors, because when you choose a smart system as a major, you could of course study the other majors as your elective, but they would reflect as your elective, but it doesn't make that much of a difference because you have a collective broad knowledge of electrical engineering instead of focusing on narrow one topic. And also, uh, uh, yeah, I find when when I first came here, I it was a bit, uh, uh, scary for me and I was I, I was having anxiety issues and and everything like as uh, as an every international student but then after I came here after uh, looking with uh, uh, chatting with people chatting with fellow students I I realized like everyone is in the same level as me and uh, they say university people like pe uh, students coming to the university have prior work experience but I didn't have any work experience so that was also a big issue for me but that didn't uh, reflect in my grades I studied and I got my grades so I am very proud of it and also there's not only it doesn't focus only it's it's very known for the research and theoretical part but it also we focus on lab uh, so every uh, you have lab in your curriculum so you have three semesters uh, four semesters of uh, engineering out of it the fourth semester is your master thesis and you have lab in your third semester. You have to complete your lab in the third semester so that you could you have the sufficient grade to do your master thesis. And uh, yeah, uh, at the end, I would say it's a good, uh, it's a very nice try to study in University of Stuttgart. Thanks a lot.